Welcome. In some previous videos, I talked about setting up Synology Drive Admin on a Synology NAS and also installing Synology Drive Client on a Mac. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to back up your Mac to the Synology Drive. So I'll put a link in the description to those videos. I'll also put a link to my Synology playlist with all my other Synology videos. So we have a Synology NAS here with the Synology Drive Admin installed on it. And then I'm on my Mac and I have the Synology Drive installed on it. So you can go to your applications and open it, but I have it in my menu bar up here, so I'll click on this. I'll click on the three dots down here and I'll go to settings. And then on the left here you see sync tasks and then you see backup tasks. You want to click on that one. Then you want to create backup task. And I'm going to choose the first one because I'm already connected into my Synology NAS, so I have my IP address here. If your computer is going to be at multiple sites, you probably want to put your Quick Connect ID in here. Uh, alternatively, you can just log into your NAS on, for the second option. I'll click Next. And then we're going to do the backup source. So here, if you have multiple users, you could click Users here. Um, I just have one user, Rick, so I could click that and it would back up my whole home directory. And then uh, what I'm going to do in this video is I'm just going to back up Documents because it's easier to, it's faster just for the video's sake. So I also, I do Time Machine backup on this. So it's not a terrible idea to do time machine backup and also do like the Synology drive backup. That way if there's some kind of bug that stops the time machine from working, you still have the Synology backup or vice versa. So then you have backup destination here and we can select that. So I'm just gonna select my drive and I'll hit okay. Then I'll hit next. And now it's gonna give me three options, continuous backup. So it says backup when files change, manual backup, backup only when I click backup now and scheduled backup. This is backup on specific days and times. So I'm gonna choose continuous backup. Manual backup might be nice if you work remotely and say connect using a cell phone and you don't want it backing up over your cellular connection. You could just manually do it. Or scheduled backup might be good if you have downtime at night and you wanna run your backup. I mean, these options work for different people. Continuous is nice because it's always backing up your files. We can click next. And it says our server, our account, our destination, backup plan and backup mode. We can hit done. It's applying changes and now it's started. So if we click on this here, you'll see it's going to start backing things up. It'll also show the progress here. So I'm going to speed up the video here. The clock says 8.52 and we'll see how long this takes to back up my data. And let me see how big it is. It's 4.4 uh, gigabytes. Okay, the backup is complete and it finished at 8.55. I can't remember when it started uh, now. So I'll put that up on the screen. So now if we go here, and, and I blurred out these uh, file names too. There could have been some private names in there. Okay, so now I've created this uh, test document in the documents folder. So I'll type, this is a test, period, and I'll save it. And you'll see here on the right, it's backing it up. So every time I save it, it backs it up. So now if I want to, let's see, let's call this one, save, two, save. So now if we click on restore, we can go to users, Rick, and documents. I'm gonna filter this. Okay, and we have our test doc here. So it says we can browse previous versions and we can see each time we saved that here, it made a different version. So you can download um, the different versions. And it, obviously you're not going to type a line save, type a line save, and then expect to be able to recover it because you wouldn't know exactly what time uh, you saved the version you want, but they're all there. So like if every day you, you know, if you had a list, you add to it every day, it backs up. You can go back like three days and find the list if it gets deleted or something. So that's the basics of setting up backup using Synology Drive on a Mac. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.